Hello, welcome back guys. Welcome back to a brand new video of Mighty Ghost Hack YouTube channel. So this video will be a continuation of the Angular Performance Improvement Playlist. So, in this video, we are gonna look for a very interesting thing, which is known as a track by. Here track by mainly use with the ng for directive. So before we move forward let me show you why we need such things. So on the screen you'll able to see the project is running. Which contains a list of data. And here I also added two different buttons one is for adding data. And one is for resetting the data. Also, let me show you the project as well. Here inside of app component html file. You will see two different buttons have different action is assigned. Also, I'm calling the initialize data function on the onInit method. You can look into data which is called at very first. And these are the data that is going to load. And here is the updated data which is going to call on update button click. Here we are reassigning the same data. Let me add some dummy data as well. Now let's jump into the project. So, here on the right side inspect element is open. And you can see the data is rendered with the help of a list. Now let me press the update button. So you can see whenever the update button is getting click. New data is going to be added. But there is a problem with this case. See whenever I press the button. It destroys the complete list. And re-render the complete data which is not good practice. The same case happens with the reset button. Let me show you again. So this is the scenario where we require the track by the method, which will track the record base on the key and check whether it contains any new data or data. Suppose if it contains the same data, then it not going to load the whole data. Simply add the new data. So let's look into its implementation, which is also very easy to implement. For that let me open the project. And let me open the HTML file first. Here on the ng for directive, we are going to add just next to the loop statement. Simply add a track by then colon. And name of the function. Here in my case, I will the function, which I created earlier. So here you could see the data is pass. And tracking is done on the wait param. Simply make function as it's shown here. And copy the function name and paste into HTML. And that's it we are done. Now let's look into the project on the browser. Now whenever I click on these buttons only particular DOM will get an update. Which will ultimately increase the application performance. So this is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed and like, comment, and share with your friends. Till then bye.